హలో పెగా పీపుల్ నేను మీ సరిత మర్చిపోలేదు కదా నన్ను సో మళ్ళీ మేము వచ్చేస్తాం మీకోసం పెగా ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్ సిరీస్ తో ఈసారి మన స్టూడెంట్స్ రియల్ గా ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఫేస్ చేసిన ఈ క్వశ్చన్స్ మనం వీడియోస్ చేస్తున్నాం సో డోంట్ మిస్ దిస్ సిరీస్ ఇంకెందుకు ఆలస్యం లైక్ చేయండి షేర్ చేయండి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి మన హర్ష ట్రైనింగ్ ఛానల్ కి హాయ్ హర్ష షల్ స్టార్ట్ అవర్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఓకే ఓకే ద ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ హౌ మెనీ కేస్ టైప్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఇన్ యువర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ my project is all about card management system it is going to define a workflow for issuing different types of cards we have two types of cards one is credit card and other one is debit card so there are two case types available one credit and one debit card our next question is can you please explain about your class structure or layer structure sure so the class or layer structure in our application is so we have first organization class or organization layer and after that we have divisions and unit layer which is the work class so this is for implementation under which we have two different case types that is one is debit card another one is credit card and we have a framework application class structure above this where we have same organization class is there for framework and there is an fw class and there is a division class and there is a work class which is framework work class our framework work class is deriving from otb class work dash implementation work class is deriving from framework work class apart from this we have data and integration layers data layers are like organization data framework data and implementation data layers all these are deriving from data dash ootb class ultimately and integration also same levels we have organization integration layer framework integration layer and implementation integration layer all these are inherited from ootb class int dash and also apart from this we have a ui pages layer also which we can use for user interface layer in my project we are limited using this okay we move into our next question how do you create case id in your project so in our application we have the cases gets created from different systems like we are getting it from third party system the information that will be fed into our application by using services we are creating cases and by using file listener also we are creating cases and there is a third way of creating a case that is using email listener also we are creating cases so there are some different systems which will send us emails to our uh, email account where the cases gets created and some web service third party people will be uh, sending the data to our rest services apis where the cases gets created and also it gets created from file so there are some data that will come on csv files it will be placed in a remote uh, uh, shared path shared path and from that our application is going to read the file data and create cases automatically in our application once the cases are created it will be appropriately routed to the first level of indexing team okay in all these three ways how the work object is getting created sure in these all three ways we are creating work object by calling an otb activity add svc create work object this activity is going to take the parameter of case type name actually this is the main activity that we are calling in order to invoke the case type and where it is internally going to call other otb activities like add work add generate id and also save new work commit so these are the main otb activities that gets executed in the chain which will create the work object and the created work object is going to get transferred to the first work list called as sorry first work basket call as indexing work basket you said in our application the work objects are getting created using file so is that file is creating one object or multiple objects so in our application csv file is getting placed in the shared path which is being read by our file listener so one csv file contains multiple records of data where each record is one customer data so in our application when a file is being read by the file listener it is going to create multiple work objects in some situations it may be 100 objects at a time in some situation it may be 10 objects in some it may be 50 work objects each record is going to get read by the file listener and processed by the service file where it will call or execute the activity add service work object to create one work object and the data that is being read from the file will be parsed by parse delimited rule and that gets assigned to the py work page of that particular work object that is that assignment is being done in the py default data transform okay we'll move on to scenario question in a file we have 1000 records 500 records are successfully completed at 501 we got exception the service file continue to move on or it gets stopped please explain 
in our application, when the service file is going to process the file data, it is going to read record by record and the data is not getting processed directly to create work objects. Actually, we have integrated service file with standard agent where service file is going to read first record and it is going to queue it to the standard agent. Then standard agent is going to process it at a scheduled time. So like this, all the thousand records will be queued to the standard agent. So as the standard agent has a default exception handling mechanism, if 500 records are being processed successfully and 501 if it fails, then standard agent is going to put that into block in process and it will proceed with the 502 record onwards till the next ones. So the exception handling is being maintained by the standard agent here in our case. Okay, we'll move on to the next two question. This is follow up to the previous question. Suppose the file is not completed successfully. Out of 1000 records, 500 records are processed. We don't know which 500 records are processed. Once again, if we process the file, again the 500 records are processed. Here the duplicate records are getting created. So how can you handle this situation? Actually, in my last answer itself, I have explained this situation that we are not processing the file records directly by using service file activity. Service file activity is responsible for passing the data and just pushing this into the agent queue table. So once the all the thousand records are being pushed into agent queue table, their agent is picking each record one by one and processing. If there is any failure of the record, it is just updating the status to broken process. So what's happening here is all the 500 records, whichever is processed will not be there in the agent queue. The remaining 500 which are there in the agent queue with broken process status are failed. We can find out the issue what happened by going through the broken process and broken queue. There we can see the view XML data and find out what is the error message. And after fixing, we just need to requeue this queue items. Once requeued, it will be again picked by the agent and it will get processed by the agent. So there is no chance that any duplicate processing or there is no need of placing the file once again to process the failure records in this way of development. Okay, the next question is, Everyday system will create too many work objects. So in one month, millions of records are getting created. So it leads to performance issue. How will you handle the situation? Okay, if there are millions of work objects have to be created per month, we can handle this situation in such a way that we can use multi-node environment. It is better we'll have uh, in, in this type of large processing systems, we can have around 20 to 30 or maybe 30 to 50 servers where this background processing will happen. Usually in this case, it is better to go for queue processor instead of standard agent where each queue processor can process 20 uh, queue items on single node. So this will become a ratio of 20 into if there are 50 servers, 20 into 50, almost around uh, 1000. 1000 work objects will be created at a time by the process commander. So on multi-node environment, so that with this way, we can uh, just reduce the burden uh, on processing part and we can have millions of records created without any performance issues. The next question, instead of CSV file, if we place XML file, what will happen? 